You know, you really shouldn't be awake at this time of night. You never know. Some psycho could emerge from your closet or open your window and put you to sleep yourself. Oh, chill out. Don't you dare scream or I might consider you one of my victims. It's funny how primal my instincts are. One little gasp or yell could make my vision go all red. I won't even realize what I've done until I wake up in my room, all covered in blood. And I would hate to kill you. I really would. I spent too much time on you to just write out kill you now. What do I mean? Ah. What a bold question. See, I meant to kill you just last month, but for some reason you kept falling asleep quite early. It's no fun to kill someone when they're asleep, you know. So, I followed you around in the daytime after my fifth failed attempt or so. You were a busy bee weren't you? Taking on all that responsibility for that project or whatever it was you were doing. I must say, I'm impressed that you can stand all those people running up to you and asking their stupid ass questions. I used to hate bullies, but I have opened my eyes and seen the light of equality. Now, I just hate everyone. Well, except you, which is the problem, isn't it? See, I work alone. Nobody tells me who to kill, when to kill, or how to kill. I self-regulate. But when you came along, and dazzled me with whatever it is that is just so fascinating about you. I just can't help but to feel as though I belong. I've been alive for a long time now, trapped in this ageless, beautiful body of mine. And I've never not been able to kill anyone. Well, Except for this one bitch who won't get off my case. But that's besides the point. Perhaps it's the normalcy of it all. You go out, sleep away, come back, and leave again. It's like clockwork. It's almost peaceful. But... I'm more of a thrill seeker myself. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you back home. Make sure none of my dumbass roommates try to kill you. And you're going to learn how to live just like. You know, like a, you know, like, uh, what's the word? Mm. Uh huh, like an apprentice, that's right. We'll be happy together for the rest of eternity. Why are you shaking your head? You don't want to be mine? And why is that? Do you not think I'm beautiful? Look at this smile. Do you think it's not good enough for you? Would you rather have a girlfriend who smiles all the time? 
who can watch you always just to make sure you're safe? Or would you rather have a normal, nagging bitch hanging over your shoulder all the time? I am the most beautiful person in the world, damn it. Don't you see how the black circles around my eyes from when I burn my eyelids off contrast so sharply with my peach white skin? See how the scar of my smile is stretched to my ears in such a lovely red. I could smoke any old bitch in the Miss Universe contest. You don't have to worry. Not yet, anyway. Just come with me. I don't have all night. Bitch, don't make me hurt you. I won't say I don't want to, but my self-control is wearing thin, and I don't think you want to see what part I'll take from you first. So, are you going to go with the easy way, or the hard way? Hmm? <laughs> you got nervous, didn't you? Well, not that I'm complaining. The easy way is just fine, but the hard way, well, that would have been a lot more fun. For me, at least. Hurry up. The woods are a little too far for my liking. And you never know what idiot might decide to go out for a jog. Yes, I said the woods. Well, duh. Of course they're cursed. I live there. My friends live there. We tend to kill people, you see. Now hurry up. I want to get back to the mansion before daylight. Oh yes, I also said mansion. Are you deaf or something? <laughs> yes, we have a mansion. We all live there together. My roommates and I. It's quite interesting. You know the bitch I mentioned earlier who's trying to kill me? She lives there too. It's quite fun, honestly. It's adventurous. Hmm. But it would be a lot more fun with you. So, are you coming? Just climb out the window, you pansy. It's really not that hard, is it? <laughs> I should have expected as much. You're not so brave. Hmm. You can't wait till you meet everyone. We'll see how brave you are then. I mean, like I said, I don't like any of them, but... Ben is pretty interesting. I'm sure you'll have a ton of fun with him. After all, he plays video games with me. I'm sure he wouldn't mind the extra player. And of course, they're slender. Ah, oh, slender men. Hate the guy, but is quite professional. So long as he lets you in, well, I'm sure we won't have a problem with that. He won't take you from me. I promise. You're not exactly his type anyway. Hopefully. Hmm. And of course, 
there's a laughing jack. I hope you don't mind clowns that much. Also ghosts, Sally tends to pop in now and then. This will be a fun one. Oh, don't worry. You'll get used to it eventually. And by that time, I'm sure you'll love me just as much as I'm fascinated by you. <laughs> I've been reading up on Stockholm Syndrome. You really need to understand.